Well, we've been talking all this week about Severe Weather Awareness Week, even though the weather has been great. The Storm Team 10, however, is highlighting information to help you keep you and your family safe. Now, you may have had hail land in your yard during a very strong thunderstorm. Storm Team's Pamela Gardner explains how a hailstone is made. This is interesting. Watch. ice represents an ice particle in a thunderstorm. When the thunderstorm gets so strong, it has updrafts and downdrafts. An updraft sweeps up these hailstones and it collects a lot of water particles and mist, represented by this water bottle. I'm going to add a layer to it, and in real life, this layer would freeze pretty quickly, make the hailstone so heavy that it falls to the bottom, and then it would get swept up again by another updraft. For now, let's put it in the freezer and let this first layer freeze. has frozen. Now I'm going to add another layer which represents the hailstone being lifted again by a second updraft. This is layer number three. Now this hailstone has three layers. It made three trips up through the cloud. It's gotten heavy enough where it's fallen out of the cycle as a hailstone. After a storm passes and you cut one of these open, you can count the layers to tell how many times the hailstone went through the cycle. The more layers, the stronger the storm. Back to you.